Salut YouTube De retour chez Olivier devant le scénario. Franchement oui Qu'est-ce que... Gunther C'est toi qui as mis le feu Must be somewhere hereabouts. No, please, I beg you. Shut your trap. <laughs> Let me go. Leave me be. Qu'est-ce qu'il fabrique? Drink with you. Fuck beside you. Oh. Did you tell me now? I'm one of you. You might have been, but not no more. You ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Shut off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, have we? Now piss off! We've work to do. Parlant de lui, il est où Wait, I know Rogier wants him dead. Still don't know why though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really, just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? Are you not done with him? My ears with it from the screams. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Ouais, t'as vu mon nouveau tatouage? Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Eh? Not I. You lie! Horson! Quoi? 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 Kill me. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Um... Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Tu veux un coup de main? Ouais. Ça ressemble de plus en plus à un pacte démoniaque cette histoire. <rire> T'as quelque chose à me dire, Rogard? Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful. Hmm. Un, un des souhaits qu'il a fait avec Gunther, ok. But there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. 
It all seemed boring and monotonous. The tricks to plow through that moment. Go further. D'ailleurs, on parle de Gunter. Il devait pas venir avec moi. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left of char that is. C'est hilarant ça. It's so fine. I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Go on to old dick. Come to cast aspersions. No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. Mm. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. All geared once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Ah, c'est une histoire de jalousie. Assault. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, old Dean. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. <rire> Il y a une espèce de petit sourire tordu, lui, ce que j'aime beaucoup. <rire> Allez, y a plus poteau. Come, where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the base dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody theory mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Why? What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ephiri Dofa is something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollow the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, may you rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never... <laughs> Les trois travaux de Geralt. <laughs> but try your best. Your debt shall be absolved, while I shall live in peace until Master Mira finds another aide de camp. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. 
There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mounts always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. <laughs> Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Hmm. Grosse histoire, tout ça. Oh, c'est gentil. Ça me dit que tu as besoin de beaucoup pour compléter les premières deux tâches. Ou Sodi's maison. J'ai aucune idée de comment je vais apporter ça. Le seul Sodi que je connais ici est une auction house à Oxenford. J'ai entendu ça. Mes swords ont presque été auctionnés là-bas une fois. L'auction a été tenue à Novograd, mais c'était un temps passé. Ils ont dû se relocaliser. Tu peux juste avoir une opportunité de leur demander pourquoi. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgird's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? Parce qu'il est mort. I'm afraid he's dead. Ah, j'étais sûr, j'en étais sûr. Never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt. Geralt. Geralt, aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where will I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Ah, Shana. Okay. Uh, I think it's time, time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay, can't wait. <laughs> Say I need help. Where will I find you? I shall find you. Mm. Good luck, Geralt. Merci. Oxenfurt, Oxenfurt. Je passe beaucoup de temps à Oxenfurt en ce moment.
I've tested the Shani. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A fox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. It shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know. What do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing <laughs> frumpy at best. Who've okay. they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us, ain't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? There's no denying her beauty, but she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. <laughs> Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. I'm colored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. A man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, and we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved gave me this concoction that summons ghosts I'll need a sensor too well, that can be arranged they keep one in a storehouse at the Academy I can fetch it for you thanks ah, chouette. don't mention it but I still don't like this Moi non plus. neither do I but I don't really have any options gotta summon that ghost I understand whose ghost is it Olgierd von Everek's brother Von Everett. Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were 
pearls of wisdom from the High Rocks, or famous Rudanian dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. D'accord, d'accord. C'est presque aussi mignonne que Tris. <rire> ah là là. Oh là, euh, c'est vachement loin, attends. Il est où mon... Il est où mon panneau de téléportation Ok, il est de l'autre côté. Ah lui, du coup, faut que je retourne au domaine, c'est ça Attends, non Comment ça, non Level magique Oui Cheval magique Go, go Ah mais non mais le domaine il était pas au domaine Van Evrek avant le mec il était au domaine de Gerny c'est ça un truc comme ça oh regarde accueil des fleurs Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now, waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. A mariage? A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's, from the academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Au mariage? Bien sûr. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Super. Come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. Ah mais il dira qu'il a un niveau de waifu là. Oh la vache. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If oh, that's it. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Eh ben bordel. Ah 
Ah mais attends, je crois que je, je crois qu'en cherchant des ah en cherchant des images de Gunter, quand j'en avais eu une où il avait un collier de fleurs, il va piquer celui de Chani. <rire> oh wow oh, 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 doucement les spectres. Life and death, fire and blood. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voted fire. Death, I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are? And why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Not your lucky day. Ah, d'accord. Il 
Mais ouais, je foutais-moi la paix, je veux juste parler au bout de, de, de mire. My, my. Ordinary horse sons, those Van Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir Von Everick, brother to Olgird. Ah, c'est vrai qu'il y a un petit terre. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Gird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Old Gird's. I'm here on a business. I'm a swithing corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun loving family. True. We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Mais dis pas que je veux vraiment choisir. Listen, ah merde, j'avais pas vu les autres trucs. Oh non. I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that sir is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick. Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and. What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tank into my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Non, je ne vais pas le laisser posséder quelqu'un. I'm not to waste time. Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive too? Do not anger me, boy. If I but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. 
Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah. Definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me! Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt. There's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Il y a un fantôme là. Fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Oh, c'est intéressant cette quête. Right then, sugar mama. Let's say you we leave this dang crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Seems we're kindred spirits. So... Off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. Oh! So, to the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. <laughs> I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick. <laughs> ah, elle a l'air hilarante cette quête. To tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? No. For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, non. then... <laughs> the haylofts we shall devastate together. 
Non, c'est juste une amie, amuse-toi. Non. Moi, perso, ça me gêne pas si tu la trouves autant. Ah c'est con du coup j'ai coupé la conversation d'avant. I remember that mill. Whenever old Dick and I got to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Merci, maman, merci. This is very romantic. Fuck off. <laughs> Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, hold! Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Mm. And we must be neat. Hmm. Bah voyons. Oh non, il est rasé, il est moche. Ah, il a même changé la coupe. Crotte. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. 
Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. <laughs> <laughs> Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. Uh, how intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I like some of that nonsense. <laughs> what, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is... It would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life, instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does that... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old heart attack. Luckily, you've got me. <laughs> Ready to we'll talk now. later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way. My strawberry. <laughs> ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. <laughs> None compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> Lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I do anything. <laughs> Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Time to say hello. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's all snow. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. 
The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could. Right -o. I'm sure <laughs> Ah non, c'est pas moi qui ai choisi ce qu'il disait, dommage. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. <laughs> Aren't you an extraordinary beauty, my dear? Why, thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. Mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I have no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands on. Out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? Have I insulted you? I merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. Have some manners. Geralt, that's enough. She simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. La fille m'aime bien, mais pas le mec, hein. <laughs> yes. What a wonderful wedding. It's clear the newlywed's parents spared no expense. Joseph, what's taking you so long? Tiens, il y a des gens là. On va parler à des gens. from the water an old pot mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes in case she can't find a privy you were supposed to fish out my slipper i'm at a dance now with one foot bed it is a wedding i've got to wear slippers oh look dearie i did take there muck must have sucked it deep in we'll poke your paws in there rut for it rubbish game What's all this then? They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Ouais, bah on fera ça la prochaine fois. A plus, à plus.